Hello students, welcome back. Let us take a look at the second question of exercise 13.9. It states that a front of a compound has a uh, compound wall of a house is decorated by wooden spheres of diameter 21 centimeters. So this is the diameter, I have just given a dimension D1, a name D1. Placed on small supports, each support is a cylinder of radius 1.5 1 centimeters and height 7 centimeters. So in short, you have a sphere out here and there is, it is mounted on a cylinder. The dimensions of a cylinder are these, the height is 7 and radius R is 1.5 centimeter and the diameter D1 of the sphere is 21 centimeters. Now there are 8 such spheres plus cylinders, that means you have a fence something like this. And suppose these are the cylinders, so there are 8 of these, okay. The spheres are painted with silver at the rate of 25 paise per centimeter square, whereas the cylinders are painted black at the rate of 5 paise per centimeter square. We need to find the total cost of painting. So how can we find the total cost of painting? We need to first find the total surface area of the cylinders plus the sphere at the, excuse me, at the external and then multiply the surface area of the sphere with the painting cost of silver and that of the cylinder with painting cost of black and then add the two costs that will give us the solution. Now there is a very small twist over here. We have these spheres with radius 21 centimeter, uh, with diameter 21, centi uh, 21 centimeter. So the radius R1 is going to be 21 divided by 2, correct? Now these are mounted on cylinders. So this section is not visible, right? This section is going to be nothing but a, a circle, right? Because see, this is the cylinder and this is its surface which is adjoined to the sphere. So this section out here is not going to be visible. So we are not going to consider this area. So how do we find the total surface area of one sphere? We are going to find the total surface area of the sphere minus this area of the cylinder which is going to be pi r square that is the area of a circle for the cylinder, right? And then we are just going to find the curved surface area of the cylinder. So curved surface area of cylinder we know that that is 2 pi r h. And what about uh, the area of sphere that is 4 pi r square. So I will say surface area of sphere, so external surface area. of sphere is going to be equal to surface area of sphere minus circular area of cylinder. And if you want for further explanation you can write on which sphere is mounted. Correct? So this is going to be 4 pi r1 square minus pi r square. So this is r1 for diameter d1 and this is r square for this radius 1.5, okay. So this is going to be 4 into 22 upon 7 into diameter upon 2 square which is 21 upon 2 the whole square minus 22 upon 7 into 1.5 the whole square. So I am going to erase this side of the board so that we can do the calculation. So this is equal to, now 22 upon 7 can come out common. So or rather let us just expand the bracket first, 4 into 22 upon 7 into 21 into 21 upon 2 square which is 4 minus 22 upon 7 and 1.5 I can just write it as 15 into 15 upon 100. Why 15 into 15 upon 100? Because this is 1.5. So 1.5 can be written as 15 upon 10 in order to get rid of the decimal over here. So we add a 0 in the denominator. So that will also be 10 square in the denominator which is 100. So let us take 22 upon 7 common, you get 4 into 
21 into 21 upon 4 minus 15 into 15 upon 100. So, this is going to be equal to 22 upon 7, 4 ones are 4 ones are and 21 into 21 is 441 minus 15 into 15 is 225 upon 100. So, this is equal to 22 upon 7 into 441 minus 2.25. So, why 2.25? Because I want to get rid of these two zeros in the new, in the denominator. So, I shift towards the left in my numerator. So, 2.25. So, this is equal to 22 upon 7 into now 441 minus 2.25. So, you get 5, 7, 9, 8, 3, 4, 438.75. Four Let us see if 7 can cancel this. So, 7 ones are 7, 7 6 are 42, 7 twos are 14, 7 6 are 42. 7, 7s are 49. Okay. So, this is 62.67 into 22. So, 62.67 into 20 plus 2, which is equal to 0, 2 7s are 14, 2 6s are 12, 13, 2 2s are 4, 5 and 2 6s are 12 and 2 decimal places plus 125.34. Let us add these terms. 1253.4 and 125.34. So, this is 478731. 1378.74. So, this is equal to 1378.74 and let us see the unit, it is going to be centimeter square. So, this is the total surface area, the external surface area of the sphere. We need to multiply it with the painting cost for silver, which is 25 paise per centimeter square. So, I am going to erase this section now. I will say cost of silver paint. Is going to be equal to 25 into surface area, external surface area of sphere. which is equal to 25 into 1378.74. So, let us multiply, you get 1378.74 into 20 plus 5. So, this is going to be equal to 0, 2 fours are 8, 2 sevens are 14, 2 eights are 16, 17, 2 sevens are 14, 15, 2 threes are 6, 7 and 2 ones are 2 and 2 decimal places plus 5 fours are 20, 5 sevens are 35, 37, 5 eights are 40 plus 3, 43, 5 sevens are 35 plus 4, 39, 5 threes are 15 plus 3, 18, 5 ones are 5, 6. Let us add these terms, you get 0. So, 2 decimal places here, then 5, 8, then 16, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, and 14 and 3. So, the total painting cost for silver is 344.68.50 paise. In order to convert it to rupees, I am going to divide by 100. So, this is going to be rupees 344.68.50 divided by 100, which is going to be shifting towards the left by two decimal places, is going to be rupees 344.6850. Now, this is the total painting cost for one sphere, right, of one sphere. So, for eight spheres, the total painting cost is 8 spheres will be equal to 8 into 
344.6850. So let's multiply. This is 80s are 0, 85s are 40. 8 is a 64 plus 4, 68. 86 are 48 plus 6, 54. 84s are 32 plus 5, 37. 84s are 32 plus 3 is 35. And 83s are 24 plus 3 is 27. And how many decimal places? 1, 2, 3, 4. So the total painting cost is rupees 2757.48. Let's mark this as 1. And I'll just write silver cost is 2757.48. Just in case we will have to erase the board. Okay. I'm going to erase that section of the board to find the curved surface area of cylinder and thereby the painting cost for eight such cylinders. So now curved surface area of one cylinder is equal to 2 pi rh which is equal to 2 into 22 upon 7 into 1.5 into height which is 7. So 7 ones are 7, 7 ones are 7 and then you get 1.5 into 2 is 3 and 3 into 22 will give you 66. So 66 centimeter square. Now there are 8 such cylinders so I am going to multiply by 8. So curved surface area of 8 cylinders is going to be 8 into 66. So this is 86 are 48, 86 are 48 plus 4 is 528 centimeter square. So the cost of black paint will be 5 will be equal to 5 paise, just one second, 5 paise into 5 uh, into the total curved surface area of 8 cylinders. So this is going to be 5 into 528 and the answer will be in paise. 5 8s are 40, 5 2s are 10, 14, 5 5s are 25, 26. So 2640 paise. So divided by 100 to get the solution in rupees. So 2640 divide by 100. This is going to be equal to rupees 26. Point four zero. So this is the cost for black paint whereas this is the cost for silver paint. So let's add these two terms to get total cost of paint is equal to 1 plus 2. So this is going to be equal to 2757.48 plus 26.40. So please take a look at the solution before I erase this section. So adding these two terms you get 2757.48 plus 26.40. So 8, 8, 3, 8, 7, 2, 2, 7, 8, 3, point eight eight rupees. So total cost is equal to rupees 2783.88. And let's write down the answer. The total cost of the paint is rupees 2783 that's 2783.88 rupees so please take a look thank you for watching this video hope this video increased your knowledge for more such videos and a completely free educational content log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our epathshala youtube channel 
we have each and every question solved for maths physics chemistry and biology so subscribe our channel share with your friends like our facebook page and follow our twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win e parshala goodies so what are you waiting for subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education